Well, I guess we're going to get our chance to double loot this place, aren't we? Assuming the fat loots are even up here, maybe. Oh, not good. Ah, shit. We're screwed. I can't get over here. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 19. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Insane series, where we play on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we generally have the game set to the hardest settings. All right, we're picking up right where we left off. We are still in the trader compound, but what we're going to do is head over towards the um, this uh, the first fetch quest that we have here, uh, retrieve the supplies quest, and then uh, you know see where we go from there. Um, I noticed uh, when I was editing the, the, my first video that I still had motion blur on. So apparently uh, in motion blur, there's there's two settings. There's, you know, full, simple, and then off. And I must have just set it to simple. Uh, but I have that turned off now because I just, <clears throat> I don't really care for it anyway because it's just not very realistic. Uh, and it makes, you know, the, the, the action on the video uh, more blurry too. All right, so let's go ahead and set on out and get started here. Uh, we want to be super careful, make sure... That there's no zombies right outside the door. Let me listen here. Okay, I think we're good. And it does appear that we are at least in a town, if not a city. It looks like that's probably the shoddy Messiah factory way over there where that pillar is standing up. Oh, okay, there's a Zeker there. So what we have to do in the very early game here um, is we either have to use our little platform to, to fight the zombies when we're out in the open, or of course we can throw rocks and try and distract them and get them away from us um, so that we can go buy them. And so for right now, I'd like to get to our destination as quickly as possible. So we will use the stone throw method uh, to try and avoid these guys as much as we can. For one thing, you know, it's already um, almost 3.30 in the afternoon, so we don't have a, a lot of time left. Though, you know, that being said, you can, uh, when you play on, on Nightmare Speed, being out at night's not quite as big of a deal as it would be if you weren't, because they're always running anyway. The thing about it, though, is that the uh, the game will spawn ferals at nighttime, even, even at the very beginning, or at least it used to. Uh, now, you know, that's another change that, you know, they're, the dom the dummies, the zombies <laughs> are supposed to be uh, scaled down a little bit too and scale with your level better than they did before uh, with your game stage. So it could be, you know, that it won't, but I think because we are on insane difficulty, uh, I'm, I'm expecting for there to be ferals out at night. So we're gonna have to be careful. Uh, all right, let's just keep moving through here. Looks like the oil companies pretty much look the same as it always has. So we're just going to move carefully and cautiously. Is that a deer? Yeah, that is a deer up there. Okay, there's another Zika Ruski over there. Yikes. Somebody's really close by. I don't see where they are. Let's get him out of here. Oh, that rock bounced like really good. Okay. You know, um, I'm thinking I might turn off the depth of field. I I kind of like depth of field, but it's making stuff that's in my near vision blurry too. So yeah, let, let's go ahead and turn that off too. Okay. We'll try that setting and see, see how that works. Yeah, that that's better. Look, everything looks a little more crisper, you know, where it should. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. That zombie's a lot closer than I thought it would. Yeah, it looks like they still don't always detect the rocks. There she goes.
sometimes they they actually run towards you when you throw the rock and then turn around and run the other way so it's a little it's a little unnerving because <laughs> it looks like they're coming right at you and then sometimes they actually do see you and they come right at you all right this is a little ways a little ways out for us I probably will whatever we decide to do for a base I probably will have that um, right next to the trader because it just kind of makes sense to do that at least early on now we we will be working on the quests oh nice we will be working on the quests that allow us to uh, find all the other traders so whatever we set up initially is is will probably just be a a temporary base and not necessarily our our base for the whole time Yeah, I was looking at that walled place, and at first I thought it might have been a uh, another trader. I don't think they would be that close together. It might be, though. See, when you get to hills like this, things get a little more tricky because you can't see what the hell's going on on the other side of it. You can't see what the hill's going on on the other side of it. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. There's a pig. We will not be messing with him right now. He can put the hurt on us. Yeah, I'm interested to see the the changes with the animals. Uh, because, you know, they basically just made them tougher. They can swim now, or at least some of them can. And uh, so I, wonder, I just wonder how much harder it's going to be to kill them, especially in the early game here. I guess dire wolves have been buffed and the look of them has changed too. All right, so we've got Stripper there. Let's send her up the hill. We're going to have to stop and resupply our rocks here pretty soon too. All right, the zombie bow's too close to us. We're going to have to fight him. Let's get another land claim going just so we have it when we need it. Come here, dude. He certainly has quite a makeover, doesn't he? Oh, that head tracking is awesome. Do you see him looking up at me? It's interesting... They run, they run around a little bit more than they used to, too. Yeah, that head tracking was actually pretty cool, man. He was, like, looking up at me like, I'm going to get you. Um, oh, there's a zombie biker. That guy is, that guy's tough. Tough and fast. Um, so, I don't see anybody else in our immediate path. So yeah, let's uh let's keep going here. Looks like they've updated the uh, uh, the graphic for the coin a little bit too. This is the same POI I think that we spawned in next to. Okay, um, I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm familiar with this POI. I probably am, but I'm not sure. <laughs> So, 
what I want to do. That's a pretty steep little cliff there. Is I want to set a bedroll down up on the roof of the garage here. So that way if we die, we're really close to our stuff. Make sure there aren't actually any sleepers up here. Oh, not good. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Come here, you bastard. I don't know if I'm even hitting him. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that was scary. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. You've suffered a concussion. Okay, we better take this now because our health is bad, really bad. And uh, so another thing that's new about the game is we have these um, critical effects, and it's the critical effects that that um, affect your cap. So if you look at my health cap now, it's down about, oh, I don't know, looks like almost 25%. And I believe to get rid of a concussion, you have to take a pill, which we don't have, unfortunately. Oh, we do, we do. Never mind, never mind. Whew. Okay. Yeah. That'll that'll basically get rid of the, it. Did get rid of the concussion, and it looks like we we get our health ca health cap back now once we it regenerates. Uh, we need to eat anyway because our health bar is going down here. Uh, so let's eat the tuna, and we're gonna need to drink because that pill um made us thirsty. And then hopefully we'll find you know more food and drink inside of the house. All right, now um what I'm gonna do is. Let's close that, and we're going to set down our bedroll up here. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. It might not let me do that because if you have a spawn point inside of a quest zone, it doesn't activate. Man, I hope there's no dogs down there. Yeah, I forgot about that. Darn it. Okay. Well, we might have to go um, somewhere else then. To set down our bag. I just want to look in here real quick. Okay, there's no sleepies in here. So we might as well loot what we can. Okay, cooling mesh mod and a pipe. Good stuff. Is there anything else in here to loot? Trash can. We'll take those and scrap them because we don't really need nails for anything else right at the moment. I guess that's about it. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, I'm almost positive we're going to have to put our bedrolls outside of the quest zone. Let's go ahead and harvest this guy so we can get the feathers and make some more arrows. Hmm. Interesting animation. Makes sense, though. You kind of cut into it, and then you have to slice, you know, slice it. it takes a little longer, but that's that's okay. Uh, I don't care about the bones or the uh, rotten meat for now. Uh, and for that matter, let's scrap this, and we don't need clay, and let's just scrap those. We have to really be... Oh, man, we are thirsty. We have to be really cognizant of our inventory space this early in the game. I hope that frickin' buzzard doesn't respawn on us, but he might when we uh, s start the quest. Okay, let's just go out here. Okay, we have an iron deposit here. This is <clears throat> This should be far enough out. From the quest site um and we need to get some more stone anyway so let's just harvest this for a little bit to get some stone and some iron all right i'm gonna make a chest and we're gonna put stuff in the chest that we don't need to take into the house with us um that cures fatigue and gives us a hundred percent disease resistance So, we don't need to take the meat with us, or the jar, 
You know what, though? I'm, we're probably going to find more jars. So we might as well just keep that because it's going to take up the slot. Don't need to take the duct tape in there. Um, uh, do I want to keep the feathers? We don't have very many stones. Not sure. We should keep this because it'll stop bleeding, the lacerations and that sort of thing. We don't need any of that. We might want to hang on to this. And does this this doesn't give us hydration, does it? It gives us food. No, it doesn't. Okay. I I really need some more stones. That's what I really need. And let's put these bandages down here now. Whew, yeah, that buzzard messed us up, didn't it? Okay. Um, are there any boulders around? Let's take a quick look. Oh, there's one right there. Beautiful. Yeah, we're having stamina problems because we're thirsty. Let's just finish this last chunk here and then we'll go. You know what we could do? Is there any water around here? Not anywhere near where we are. Okay. Well, we're just going to have to try and hope that we find... Oh, there's a puddle down there. We could take that vitamin and then just go drink dirty water. Maybe we should do that. Because I'm not sure how quickly we can get into a kitchen, um, you know, in that place. And let's see, what does this do? Max stamina bonus. Food and health. I'm going to take this, and the reason I'm taking it is so we get another jar. And, um, you know, we still have this one if we need it for infection. And the vitamin also uh, will make us actually re disease resistant. Okay, let's run down to this puddle and just get our hydration under control before we come back and go in the building. The colors, the colors look more, a little bit more saturated, a little more vibrant than they used to, which is really cool. I love it. Looks good. Looks really good. Okay, there's a Zika Ruski down there. Get away from the watering hole, Arlene. You're a zombie. You don't need to drink. She's just not interested in following our rocks, is she? Well... If that's the way it's going to be, then we're going to kill her. Come here. Is there water in there? It sure looked like it from up on the hill there. I hope so. Otherwise, we came all the way down here for nothing. Let's put that there. Make another land claim block. We should probably favorite that, huh? Uh, wait, no, that's not how we do it. Land claim block favorite. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, there is water here. <laughs> We just can't see it. All right, let's pop the vitamin. Um, so we use that. Okay, and then uh, bottoms up. <laughs> Yuck. Nothing like drinking from a mud puddle. We'll just what we'll do is we'll just imagine it's chocolate milk, and then everything will be okay. Uh-oh. Is that it? Nope. I heard it. There we go. Oh, you know what? I was being a noob and hitting the left mouse button instead of the right mouse button. The other thing about dirty water, too, is it doesn't give you a lot of hydration, so you have to drink a lot of it to get the same 
you know, that you would you would from the clean water. I'm taking full advantage of these vitamins here, you guys. Okay. Let's just put keep these in here. And let's go get this quest done. Too much screwing around, but it was that stupid buzzard that set us back. You know what I hope they do someday in this game is I hope they they have like um, random generated zombies, if you know, so that way you know they don't all look the same. I mean we've got what. 10, 12 zombies in total. And then, of course, variations on those zombies. Maybe we don't even have that many if you don't count the variations. It'd just be, be more immersive if, you know, we, we had different types. More, more types than we do, I guess. I don't know if they could be randomly generated or if they just had more types. It's not a big deal, though. I mean, I love this game. And I like what the fun pimps are doing with it overall. Uh, but it's just something that might that would make it a little more immersive is all. We didn't loot that? I guess we didn't. Alright guys, let's start this thing up. I don't think we have the time, uh, nor the tools, nor the stamina to double loot it. Besides, I'm not entirely sure where the end loot is anyway. Man, I hope that buzzer doesn't come back. That's a lot of brass, but you know what? We're going to keep that in there for now. Well, if we do though, we're going to lose it when we start the quest because it's going to reset everything, so let's grab it. Uh, Sounds like Hawaii Five-O is on to us. Yeah, he's coming. All right. Uh, Come on, buddy. Let's do this. This is not good. This is not good at all. Um, not good, not good, not good. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Damn. That was close. That was really close. Now we're pinned down. Lovely. Yeah, he, uh, he, he, he hit our bottom block. Which is interesting, because they used to not do that, but apparently now they can. All right, we're in a bit of a pickle here, guys. We're uh, definitely in a bit of a pickle. Um, all right, how? What are we gonna do? How are we gonna get around this problem? <laughs> or can we? Ah, oh, shit. We might have to make a run for it. We might have to make a run for it. Um, let me think about this for a second. Should we go over here? Check this out. We're a tight rug whopper. <laughs> a tight rug whopper. Yeah, right. Oh my god, I can't believe I said that. A tight, tight. What was it? I can't even say it wrong now. It's supposed to be tight rope walker. Um. Okay, so <laughs> we didn't even start the quest. Stupid Hawaii Five-O. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what to do. This is a bad situation. I don't know. I mean, they could probably eventually get up here. Do we have sleepers in here? Okay, I here's what we're going to do. Let's go in here and see if we can actually f find the end loot. And we're probably going to die in the process. But, if we can, we might, we might get a gun out of the deal. We can definitely get into this room here and be okay. We'll grab those to sell. That's just not really going to help us right now. 
guys it's gonna be really dark too um what i will do i'll try and use the torch as much as i can but if it gets super dark you know what those guys let's just block that off i might what i might do in editing is um you know add some gamma uh, but i will ne i will not do that during gameplay So yeah, if you, if you ever see my videos in the early game, you know, where we don't have like a helmet light with gamma turned on, it's because I added it in, in post. It's not, uh, I didn't turn it up in the game itself. Well, I guess we're going to get our chance to double loot this place, aren't we? Assuming the fat loots are even up here, maybe. Oh, not good. Ah, shit. We're screwed. I can't get over here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to jump off jump off onto the roof and down to the ground, but didn't work out. Okay, death number one. Son of a <laughs> shit. Alright. Um Let's spawn on the bed. Oh wow, that's that's cool. They kind of give us a you've been resurrected resurrected. Max XP penalty reached. Oh, did those Zikaruskis all go away? No, they're still over there. Okay, so what we're going to have to do, at least they've calmed down. Let's find some rocks and see if we can get them, get them out of there. It might just turn out to be that uh, this is a blessing in disguise. I mean, it sucks that we died, though, but... Yeah, that uh, there that was pretty much there was no, not much I could have done about that. I mean, I could have maybe tried to get back down the ladder, but we were already at half health, and then she whacked us once, and we were I don't know I didn't even see how far down that took us, and then when we jumped off the roof, I think that's what actually killed us. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Well, we need to find some stones so we could throw them and get them away from our backpack so we can get our ship back the other thing that i've noticed too and i've already mentioned this a couple times is their ai pathing um it seems like they're you know they, they kind of run around to a, a new side more than they used to do they used to kind of just stay on one spot sometimes they would switch position but they would just stay in one spot and i could sit there and whack them on the head but uh it looks to me like you know they're they're a little bit smarter like the ai's trying to think okay how how do i get to this guy kind of thing which is really cool i mean i want smart zombies i want this to be super hard to do and dangerous and scary i should be careful what i'm asking for because that's exactly what's going on right now it's super hard it's dangerous and it's scary there's a stone okay we just need about 20 more of those We've got to get those guys away from our bag. That's step one. Okay, guys, this is where taking that point in from the shadows is really going to help us out. Oh, okay. He didn't. Uh, he didn't take the bait there, but that's okay. As long as he's moving away, I just need these guys to move off. That's what we need them to do. If we can get into the house and you know be able to use some crowd control and doorways with blocks and that sort of thing wood frames you know we'll be okay <clears throat> but we, we have to get in first without stuff from the outside interfering once we start the quest that's going to reset sleepers there's a crawler in the backyard okay let's just get our bag first one step at a time here okay so, we got our stuff back. Now, uh, I don't mind killing the crawler as long as there's nothing else around that's going to cause us trouble. Let's do this. Let's get this. Let's upgrade this. So that way, if it does get hit again, you know, it can take a couple hits.
But you know what, guys? Unfortunately, too, we are out of time in this video. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the game. <laughs> uh, we're, we're just going to pick up right where we left off here in the next episode and continue trying to work our way into this house. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.